Morning guys, Danny from Couch Gnomes here. Uh, welcome to the first live action video we're gonna have. I'm sure we'll do more of these, uh, whatever you guys are watching and liking and subscribing for. Um, big day, Horizon Zero Dawn is finally here on PS4. Uh, so great news, right? Uh, bad news, I have to wait till after work to get it. And I work an hour away. So it's gonna be a long day for me. So you're gonna have to watch me suffer all day and sit and do nothing as fun as coming home and playing Horizon Zero Dawn. But I'm super excited to get it. I'm getting the collector's edition, which makes it so much harder to wait. Um, you know, I love statues, love art books. Um, as you can see from the wall behind me, collectibles are kind of my thing. I got a few more down there, a few more up here. Yeah, so I'm super excited to get my version of the game. But, like I said, I gotta wait. So, guess without further ado, let's get into what my day looks like. And I'll unbox it for you guys then. So, enjoy. <laughs> Alright, so we officially arrived at work. Uh, the first hour long commute is done. Halfway through our travel plans for the day. Uh, just gotta go through an eight hour day at work and then an hour back, 15 minutes or so to get to GameStop. Um, and the game, Horizon Zero Dawn Collector's Edition, is mine. Um, so, I guess from here, we're just gonna, I should probably take my seatbelt off, it's the best way to get out of the car. Um, I'm gonna head on inside, take a look at my desk and enjoy my day. here uh, kind of early no lights are on or anything there might be somebody in a cubicle I might seem like a weirdo now mm -hmm. all right so this right here is my desk right three monitors uh, laptop two desktops Ugh. Um, give you the grand tour. Bunch of files that I don't I don't know what they are. Uh, that's where I keep some lunch stuff, lunch box when I don't forget it. Uh, randomness. Yeah, signing sheet stuff I don't need. Hey. Just about. Well, I mean, yes.
thing I do on my desk every day. Uh, there were a bunch of these little bottles, right? That have been hanging out here since I started. And now I don't know what to do with them. So what I started doing is every day, take the cap, I fill it, and I pour it in. I've done that every day since I started. And I, every Friday I do three for the weekend. Almost full. So I'm really close. I get bored at work. Tell no, man, you know, I you know, I wish I had that exact same problem, but unfortunately, you know, I'm actually enjoying this game horizon, you know, it's a awesome. Mess. Alright guys, I am back in my car. Um, it is it is like 4.01. I immediately got out of there as soon as I could. I am so hyped, ready to go. Um, got an hour to go to go home, like 15 whatever minutes to get to GameStop. Not gonna bore you with any more driving footage. Uh, so next time you see me, I'm gonna be stepping out of this car. I'm gonna be picking up Horizon Zero Dawn. I'll see you guys then. All right, so a little later than I wanted to be. It is about 5.30 now. Uh, unfortunately, there was traffic, so it seemed like there was just no reason for me to get there on time and get what I wanted. Uh, but I'm here now. There were people looking at me. I'll get used to this talking in public thing at some point when I don't care what people think. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I'm about to go in now. I'm going to grab it. And uh, then we're gonna go home and play or finish editing this video first because priorities, right? All right, let's check it out. Here's my power up. And since you're already spending a pretty penny on this, would you like to do the warranty for three dollars? Sure, why not? I am now walking to the car with my baby, baby. So ready to get home. Like, oh. So ready. So ready. Oh, should have done it like this. All right, Horizon's in the car. I am ready to go home, open it up, and uh, get along with my night because today's just been too long for me and uh, I need it over. I did want to grab the Telltale Walking Dead while I was in. Uh, the store, my home store here, was out. Uh, so I have to check over the weekend, see if uh, another local store or another store I'll be at. Um, is gonna have it, so hopefully I can grab that soon. Um, but that's for later, right now. All right, need a chance to get home, got changed into some, some comfy clothes. Um, yeah, being, uh, my hair's a mess now, but it's all right, because we have the important thing here, Horizon Zero Dawn. All right, so real quick disclaimer, um, I don't have a great camera set up yet for this. So don't expect to see the best unboxing you've ever seen of a video game collection edition at all. Um, I'm gonna do my best with what I got here. You probably won't see me opening the boxes. I'll do it one at a time and we'll clip it all together. Um, so just enjoy it for what it is. We're gonna see the quality of stuff inside, not so much the unboxing. Uh, it's just a quick disclaimer. So don't wanna get your hopes up and then be heartbroken, so. All right, we're gonna get things started with, uh, you see the outside of the box. You have Aloy here on the front. As you turn around, we're going to have some form of logo, which I assume is going to have some kind of significance in the game. Um, all the cool stuff on the back, you know, Earth is ours, no more. Oh, let me get my finger out of the way. Oh man, I'm super excited to play this game. Um, and of course, you have a logo again on the other side. Um, so let's dive deeper into this guy. All right, I'm just going to take a look at the outside of the box here. Uh, secondary box on the inside. Uh, here we got Aloy and the Thunderjaw, the, the art you see regularly. Um, on most advertisements for the game and the art spans all the way around the back This is a gorgeous box whenever I get collector's editions I tend to just keep the box sitting around for a while and then eventually it gets thrown out um, 
in my current mindset, I would love to keep this box forever. And uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Maybe if I can hang it up, it'll make it last longer. I won't throw it away. Um, all right, so let's get started. What's going on inside this box? So a little unorthodox. The box actually opens this way. So uh, we're going to start like this. Oh, man. Where to start? Where to start? Let's start with the... Not most minimal, but the thing most people aren't as excited about. Um, art of Horizon Zero Dawn. Uh, like I said earlier in the video, I love art books. Um, so we take a quick look. It's going to be hard to do single-handed. Um, let's just flip to, flip to one page. Get you guys an idea. So yeah, like, so the books, they always have cool concept art of the characters and the environment and everything like that. Um, super excited to get to see all this flushed out in 3D. Um, some more logo design, stuff like that. The, the Mesa Citadel. Yeah, this is, this looks insane. I'm super excited to, to get more into this, to get to see more of the uh, the dinosaurs, see if they have some kind of name to them or not. Um, but cool. All right, next, of course, the uh, the big deal here, ah, the steel bookcase. I love steel bookcases. I have a, a bunch up there at the top. Um, and I have a few that actually contain the games on my shelf here. Um, but yeah, this one, this one looks gorgeous. I wish I had a second one to display with the rest. Um, but for now, uh, just got this one. Thunderjaw, Aloy, and again, that logo we're gonna see in the back. Yeah, here we have it vertical. And on the box, we have it upside down. So I don't know if there's a significance to that. Maybe it's like about the uprising of the, the dinosaur creatures or whatnot. Um, but sweet. All right, now we're on to the big boy. So I'm gonna pause this one here because I'm gonna have to take this out. Uh, so here we go, the, the the best part of this collector's edition. Um, the thing with collector's edition, sometimes the statues are lackluster and they aren't as detailed or as you know pretty as you want them to be. This one is absolutely gorgeous. So much detail in the hair and the fur, um, the jewelry in her hair, uh, the bow looks incredible, just, oh man. Definitely worth the wait today, long day, long day. Um, and then we have the watcher down here. I wish oh, that'd be really cool if his eye lit up or like kind of like glitched out, you know, because it's like being taken down. Um, it looks like a piece of armor chipped off of it. Uh, the tail wrapping around the back. Get a little closer look here on like the the skirt dress kind of shape here. Just ah, oh, incredible. Um, there's a few errors here. Let me put these in. Do that here for you guys now. Ah, but the arrows are in and the statue is complete um, Gorgeous statue super super happy to have this part of my collection. I'm um, just gonna have to find space for her on the wall um, mm, mm, Yeah, I'll, I'll have to figure something out for her. Um, But for now, oh, I'm gonna probably display her somewhere front and center so I have her to look at while I play the game uh, so yeah, we're gonna jump back to me. We're gonna try and wrap this up. It's been a long day So I wanna I really want to get into playing uh, my copy of Horizon Zero Dawn oh, Super excited. I grunt a lot. Sorry about that guys. Hope it's not annoying So I just want to thank you guys again uh, just for joining watching the video uh, If you made it this far, I mean you got to see what kind of a boring day I have at work um, and Of course, it's not an exact replica of what I do day in and day out um, But yeah, I was definitely super impatient today to, to get with uh, get with the program and get home to get this uh, collector's edition. Um, super, mm, super happy to have her. Uh, super incredible, super fantastically awesome. Yes, she oh, she looks pissed. She just, she just looks angry. Um, but yeah, if you guys liked what you saw here, make sure you subscribe uh, to the Couch Gnomes. We have both a YouTube and we have a Twitch account. Um, we also have Facebook, Twitter, you know, all kinds of social media. So make sure you follow us, subscribe, you know, whatever different uh, options those social media sites have. Uh, we usually stream every every Friday night. Uh, we do a group stream, and then the three of us kind of have sporadic schedules we kind of do. Um, like I believe I'm gonna try and do Sunday afternoons because usually when I have a free time, uh, but I'll stream for Sunday afternoons to do my stream. Um, then Connor and Kanai, uh, they also have set times for their streams as well. Um, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss anything. Follow us on Twitch so you can catch us every night that we stream. Um, and I will talk to you guys later. Thanks again. See ya.